All right, for your first reading out, we're gonna do a whatever comes out. Let's see what you got. For the single, we have the star card. We have a Knight of Cups. Okay, Knight of Cups speaks of somebody who has longing admiration or they have a crush. Somebody who's very interested in you and romantic. So that is the, the affection is going to the person who's the star, which is Aquarian. You show up on the channel today. I think that's you, Libras. Let me keep going here. We have someone with high affections for you with that Knight of Cups. We have the High Priestess. You can almost see it or feel it. Pisces. If you have a little Pisces in your natal chart, you can be more sensitive nowadays to your environment. You could be feeling these uh, energies coming toward you. New love looks like it's bringing in a new person in the Knight of Cups, okay? Curious about you. Also wanting to extend an arm out is also what I see here, like extension of emotions to extend that they feel this way. We also have justice that just flipped. That's your major arcana. You're very present in today's new love. You're here. Um, I think that you're resting your laurels on the past, putting it away, and we might even know this Knight of Cups in our waking life. Who is this possible person? Who is the Knight of Cups? Thank you very much. We have a Cancerian with a chariot. We also have an Emperor here with Aries, okay? They could be an Aries sign or Cancer, but it doesn't have to be. It could be somewhere in their chart. Um, I see here somebody wants to take control. Okay, they want to come in. It's like guns blazing in glory. <laughs> or I think I said that wrong. There is actual affection here from an emperor. Okay, showing up as Aries so far. What's the overall emotions toward Libra, please? What do we got for new love? We have Aries again. We have somebody wanting to start a beginning with you of some kind. Establish connections. They feel like you are the High Priestess and the Star. Those are the two cards that are showing up today for you, okay? Again, we speak of somebody who's highly intuitive, very in touch with their feelings as well. So they know that you're connected. They know that you're very emotional, connected to your feelings. And right now you're working on a new beginning yourself with that full card showing up, okay? So we're going to keep going here. We got the Queen of Pentacles, Ultra Caring. Your narrative is that you keep doing this even in a solo effort to keep things going in a high vibrational point. You could also be a Libra right now that has a lot of income coming in because the Queen of Pentacles is rather stable, okay? For our holiday new love video, let's ask here, what are the true innate feelings coming from this emperor? We have the sun card, bright feelings. So they could have seen you recently, maybe in photographs or they connect to you somehow. There can be a new love situation going on between your Knight of Cups, okay? And I'm going to show you the first few cards because they're rather important. They want to stay connected to you too. This person is already gaining admiration with the Knight of Cups. So let's see here what they want to say. Continuing, Knight of Wands just flipped. I'll show you all the cards in just a second. Page of Cups. It seems like one person that's coming in is going to be a Page of Cups. Uh, offering something very small because our pages offer um, almost, I don't want to say bare minimum, but it is a very, very small offer when a page comes in. It can be endearing also since this guy showed up. So an endearing, loving offer. Expression again is what I'm getting. It could be something that is told to you via text or there's communication. We want to discover why your justice card is here too. It's very interesting that it popped out for new love and you have a knight of wands blazing in with a lot of information or they want connection to you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so who's the Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles is probably Libra. Nostalgic things could be reviving you. Great music, upbeat motions. Also, I see here if you're manifesting something new, let's say it is this new love partner, you are taking it from a caring point, taking your time and resulting in letting yourself heal also. Queen of Pentacles is rather resourceful there. Okay, so the Six of Cups is huge. This can also be somebody else's feelings today. It is a new card and it was in last night's, but we get it from a completely different deck today. So let's look at that Six of Cups. Can I see that with the remaining cards? Thank you. There's a couple and I'll push that back. Six of Cups, please. Thank you. Queen of Swords. Somebody misses their Libra who's been acting... <laughs> I want to say acting tough. Um, you could just be very busy today, very discipline oriented. I see here what's in the stars for you is somebody approaching and coming through with this beginning card of the Knight of Cups. So there's going to be some form of 
getting together. We don't have the Three of Cups yet, but we're still uh, we're still doing the reading. Seven of Wands. Somebody is protective with their time. Again, I sense there's um there's a busyness to your persona today. It could be weekly advances. You could be getting things done. And the guarded nature is that you haven't made a full decision yet, or we haven't gone forward and made the final call. I think here you're guarded for good reason. What's the Seven of Wands, or who is that? Most likely, Nine of Cups, content, feeling single, working on yourself, or your very own abundance. The Nine Cups are filled, essentially. So we have another flip right and see. Five of Wands, somebody wants to end some conflict that was going awry. They want to end it because they want to create peace, okay? That might be the justice that's coming in for you today. Also, it's a major arcana, so it could very well be you establishing boundaries. You could be uh, putting a line in the sand type of thing. And I also feel like your time has to be respected today. So I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of busy energy coming from the Libra. Again, she's very disciplined. She's very tooth to nail, and she works on things efficiently with truth. That's the Queen of Swords. It could be handling business too with that card or you're speaking with an outright truth. All right, the likely outcome for this particular first one, the Four of Cups. So there is a missed opportunity that someone feels has happened in the story and they wanna get it. I feel like it's a discussion somebody wants to have with you and they want to make a marker of making things okay. The thing with this is it's already a missed opportunity showing up with that cup. So you might get um, advancements here from a page of cups to fix things. And that's all up to you. That's your free will. So just know that that four of cups might be coming in from somebody. Okay, let's do your check-in. Uh, Libra side of things, judgment. You're making quick decisions. It might take a little bit more alone time. So I highly suggest that you take this mental space, the clarity that you need, and just relax to make that decision. It might be between two people is what I see here with the Knight of Cups and then an Emperor as well. Uh, there's definitely an Aries for some of you. I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in this card. Nine of Cups is also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a Capricorn at the very end here and another Aries for this reading. So you're viewed as very happy. Some of you could live a very happy lifestyle. You keep your health in focus. Many of you, your pentacles are also in focus at this time, maybe even balancing and enlightening yourself with that sun card. So really, really focused Libra, um, working on your happiness. I see there with the Leo card and the likely outcome is the queen of wands. So there's an attraction that uh, I feel like the outside environment is showing you at this time they are attracted to what you have to offer if you're a single here. Also, if you're coupled, this reading can still apply because you can still have a Knight of Cups in your life who's coming in with more romantic feelings and wanting to care for you with that Queen of Pentacles. I see that you could be missed by a past person, but right now I don't think you're allowing it to phase you. I think that you have accepted that there was a missed opportunity to with this card in focus at the very end here. We might do a bonus on this because I want to see a new love why there's a there's almost like multiple people in your reading. It's it's like coming in as an Aries. There's also a Libra here. There's a Cancerian trying to make movement or this is your very own movement. So we will see here what the shifts pan out to be. I think we're going to have to do a bonus for this particular one just because I see movement happening for you Libras. King of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Where he would match, he would typically match this person. So there is someone with the same vibration around you in new love. They will be communicating uh, very soon. I feel like they wanna share some of that goodness with you also being the King of Pentacles. It can be a new love person that is trying to push in into your reading and the Six of Swords. I feel like you're more concentrated in this spot, um, making yourself heal to like almost with due diligence is what I want to put it as. Due diligence is of major importance today and making sure that you make the right next moves with judgment at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we'll be back in a few moments where we will do a bonus for you. Uh, good morning and I hope you're enjoying your holiday today. All of you Libras, I will see you in video two.